So now we have uh, uh, our, our next speaker is Dr. Faisal Mahmood, or uh, Faisal is the head of the infectious diseases uh, at Aga Khan University Hospital, right in the middle of the game. Yes, Faisal. Uh, and 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 you know you you sit with the the chief minister's team with Dr. Bari. So you have the finger on the pulse. You are a clinician, and I'm sure that Aga Khan is receiving probably one of the largest numbers of COVID uh, patients. Uh, so, uh, Faisal, just like uh, Dr. Saeed has also mentioned that testing, and I had actually, you know, uh, written down ke how much testing, and again, keeping all the factors in mind, keeping that we are in Pakistan, not in Germany or not in Sweden, uh, uh, although we would have loved to see everyone being tested. So, how much testing is good numbers? One thing. The other thing is that the diagnosis of COVID-19 carriers and uh, disease state. Ki. So, how, how do you go about that? Or IgG and IgM antibodies, we've heard a lot. So, you know, being uh, 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 an infectious disease person, I see that home testing kits probably are now available in the West. So, uh, are those good enough? Uh, are we getting those in Pakistan? And I think that's a very important thing. That's why recently, Andulas, our SOPs are coming. But I think a lot of us are not sure that ke, dead bodies, which uh, are... Uh, COVID patients ki hoti hain, kya wo utni hi khatarnaak nuksaan de hain, kya wo us virus ko emit karti hain, or what are the SOPs? So a lot of these questions in one, please. Professor. So so very, so so some of these are very easy answers. Uh, how much testing, the more the better. Um, you know, jitna aap test karenge, jitna, just exactly as Dr. Sayyid Nimbola, jitna aap test karenge, uh, jitna you'll be able to control, control the infection. And so, so there's no magic number, okay, this is the number that we need. Uh, the more testing you can do, the better. Uh, but obviously, testing has its own uh, limitations, its own issues, um, and and it's uh, increasing testing capacity is not um, very easy. Um, it's not that you have kits mangwali, so your testing capacity will increase. Each step in the testing cascade has issues from sample collection and who can do the collection to the collection material, the VTM, the swabs, um, the transport to the labs. Even labs can that you may have enough kits available. But there is a limit of how many you can do in a given day because it takes time to do this. Um, and also, it's training. So, so there's a lot of uh, steps in between uh, uh, testing capacity. Our test capacity steps, we're working on different levels. For example, um, uh, collection goes out of the VTM, just got transport media, so, um, making it within the country, making the swabs within, within the country, which have become very, very difficult to get now. Um, uh, se, uh, uh, kits ko improve karna, uh, pool testing karna ke aap, you can test more people with the same kit, um, uh, for example. So, so there are many ways to increase the testing capacity. It takes time, and and but uh, the simple jawab ye ke, the more you test, the better. Mm -hmm. ke, when you talk about IG, IgM, so remember these are serological tests, and and is kind of, we're obviously looking to see ke, has the body developed sort of immune reaction to this. Ke, and because as Dr. Said sort of alluded to Thawasa briefly. Uh, we don't know if this immune reaction is it neutralizing or sterilizing. In other words, if you have developed it, is it able to fight the infection or not? But we can use this for diagnosis. But there, be, there are issues. Um, uh, the, the kids who are getting the, the home kits, the, 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 the rapid testing, they do have sensitivity specificity, specificity issues. So you can get false positives, false negatives. Um, and they are all, all of different qualities. Um, uh, and then remember, this will not be able to diagnose an infection which you have today. If you have a day or two days, I can't use this. It takes seven days. Um, so generally for now, WHO says that you know, use these for seroprevalence. So community will see what sort of rates you're having um, in, in a community. But, but not so far for clinical diagnosis per se. Um, obviously, this is a change that can happen in the next week, two weeks, three weeks, this may change. But for now, we say you just use it for seroprevalence. Uh, uh, then you talked about the dead body, and I forgot about the dead body, but you talked about the dead body. And dead body is actually simple. Um, dead body is simply that uh, dead bodies are not considered very infectious. So the virus is not actively coming out of the body. You're, the person is not obviously talking or breathing. But um, because uh, we know this virus can spread contacts, eh? so if the virus is chipped and you touch it, it could be on your hand and then if you touch it on you. So um, the same then we, what we now recommend is if you just disinfect the body uh, immediately after death, um, the orifices are blocked so that the body can't get out of the body. 
and then you can uh, you you can do the the normal rice test cap normally cut so you don't have to really um uh, do all sorts of other things and normal burial and everything and it's a bahut sarak padta hai because you know ye bahut mushkil ho gayi thi people who were high deaths people were not um, come to the hospital um ya agar symptom the bhi to batate nahi the because you know they 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 say ke bhai body utha ke le jayenge we won't get a dignified burial uh, which is i think very um, important um that's the cap third sawal mein bhul gaya Uh, which was i, I just uh, i just uh, wanted to know ke jo home uh, testing hai jo kits available hai uh, are they available in pakistan or are, are they good enough nahi nice. so we have rapid tests available in pakistan the market is getting a little flooded by these um aur ye these are icd jaise test jaise malaria ke test hote hain ya um, ya your troponin ke test hote hain for a little drop of blood and aapko ek line aati hai but they do have um, issues with sensitivity specificity um and generally i mean you 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 could conceivably think of a of a testing algorithm just may have done but for now we are recommending not to uh, use this primarily uh, as a method of diagnosis okay aapke jawab se jo na beech mein aapne science ki baat ki and uh, last week uh, we had a, a similar webinar with the uh, faisal uh, sultan uh, from shaukat khanum and uh, dr zulfikar bhutta uh, from toronto and paul barish from chicago and uh, uh, faisal said one thing you know responding to a question and he said ke ji hum government se kaam kar rahe hain and the government expects us to uh, have an evidence based data based data driven response and science based but he said that there is another problem he said that but the science keeps changing and uh, so aapne baat ki ke aaj jo hame pata hai jisko hum science keh rahe hain agle hafte wo science nahi rahega uh, again swiftly moving to uh, faisal uh, ek to faisal main chahunga ke aap bhi iske upar thodi si roshni dale क्योंकि अगेन आप यू सेट विद द पॉलिसी मेकर्स तो आप देख रहे हैं कि वो क्या सोच रहे हैं और जो अपेरेंट ये नजर आता है कि सिंध गवर्नमेंट इज क्वाइट लॉकडाउन यू नो फोकस एज अपोज टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बट अगेन मतलब है कवाकिब कुछ नजर आते हैं कुछ हमें नहीं पता अल्लाह सुबह तला बेहतर जानते हैं बट uh, आप वहां बैठे हैं और uh, मैं चाहूंगा कि इस पर भी बात करें और जो uh, डॉक्टर टीपू ने बात की बल्कि सोहेल भाई ने भी इज देर एन एंटी साइकोटाइन साइकोटाइन थेरेपी है कन्वेलेसेंट प्लाज्मा ट्रीटमेंट की हम बात कर रहे थे तो अगर आप बहुत ही जल्दी से हम इस पे बात करते हैं और वैक्सीन के ऊपर कि इज वैक्सीन द ओनली सोल्यूशन क्या यही एक चीज रह गई है मैं खुद इस पे बहुत ज्यादा बिलीव करता हूँ और लोगों से बात करता हूँ कि हमें वी नीड टू बिल्ड आर इम्यूनिटी सो डॉक्टर टीपू ने बहुत ही आई थिंक वॉज अ ब्रिलियंट रन डाउन जो कि हमारे लिए बहुत मुफीद होगा so all of that faisal if you can summarize okay so i'll be brief with some of these things so ek do cheez hai ek to uh, just to pick it up from where dr said left off so um so you right we did not have a central uh, command uh, center for the beds magar luckily wo at least sin mein to is now established so there is a dashboard now uh, beds are being uh, we know beds kahan kahan hain and it is linked to the ambulance uh, service also um so um as soon as a uh, patient needs a bed uh we know which beds are empty and the patients are moved there so so there is something which is which got which has happened and i think we should also focus on the positives that have happened because of corona um you know the, the health system overall has improved to some extent um you know we have a, a more robust disease surveillance system um, now which is coming up slowly uh because of this at the federal level um jatak uh, you asking about the the lockdown and the policy makers so you know um we the, the we we also we we have to think about the unintended consequences of a of a lockdown also uh, you know uh, and this battle between uh, economics and hunger versus uh, disease is is always ongoing and and um, and the proponents and 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 of both of, of them and um, i think ye ye jo kashma kash ye chalti rahegi um and isme what we don't what we what we forget and we what we should never forget um is you know as physicians it's our um, duty that you know we we change the narrative thoda sa from lockdown to everybody's personal responsibility also so i think baat bilkul lockdown ke andar phas jati hai kare na kare smart not smart um but if we forget that you know um at the end of the day it's it's us as individuals who have to uh, prevent the spread of this virus um uh, and you know uh, any lockdown is going to be temporary you can't lock down for ever and ever um uh, really uh here apne you asked about other uh, therapies so um so yes uh, i think uh, we are getting better with some of our other therapies and we do have io6 inhibitors tocilizumab um anecdotally we've had good response um uh, especially if you're seeing a cytokine storm um uh, happening um uh, exactly uska how to quantify kitna response hai 
Uh, that we're actually looking into, and hopefully we'll have some hard data um, uh, very shortly um, on this. Um, uh, Isi Dara say, uh, you mentioned the vaccine. So is the vaccine the only way out? Well, vaccine is one of the ways out, uh, I think. Uh, you know, vaccine, Kisab there are other issues, the vaccine deployment, um, who will have the rights to the vaccine? Will this be a cheap vaccine, uh, an expensive vaccine? Will everybody have access to this? Will it be only for the richer countries who developed it? Will it be available everywhere? So, so vaccine is one of the answers, maybe not the only answer. Um, uh, and remember, the vaccine uh, for this, we also don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, immunity for the coronaviruses generally are not uh, protective. Uh, I just said they're not sterilizing. So they may prevent severe disease, which is also uh, a good thing. And maybe we target those in case and you expect severe disease uh, uh, to happen. So, so I think that's pretty much all that you asked. And I quickly ran it down because of short, I know we're short of time. So, yeah. um, okay. and, and, and we will come back to you for the last, uh, you know, take home messages. So, you uh, uh, message dena chahte hai. and obviously our um, audience is essentially physicians or healthcare professionals. Faisal, if you can, you know, tell us uh, what has COVID-19 taught physicians, researchers, health policy makers and governments, just one or two lines. Just, just, just one line that it taught us to keep on our toes, actually. Things change so rapidly that, you know, in the time of COVID-19, uh, you know, now I was looking at an article a month old and I was like, it's, it's old news. So, so I think it's, it's, it's helped us, uh, it, it's, it's um, taught us to keep on our toes, to keep our minds open, um, uh, to keep, uh, to have the, the humility to change what we've said uh, maybe a month ago and, 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 uh, and, and re-say what we, we have. And it's been an experience and it still is an experience and hopefully, inshallah, we'll all come through with this um, uh, safe and sound. Inshallah. Thank you, Faisal. I uh, uh, formally thank you for before you leave. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, hum apna continue our continue. So, Jazakallah khair. Uh, and, and we will have you again in our webinars. Very useful conversation with you. And, thank uh, you so much safe. for having me. Thank you. Stay and I'm safe. so sorry I have to leave. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you.